This video here is the next one in a how to for the Articat F Series Twin Spar snowmobiles. Now, I pretty much got this one to the same point at the end of the last video where we took off the side panels in console. Um, you'll notice I did take the skis off. I find that whenever you're working around them or storing them, for the amount of times that you run into the skis, trip over them, or have to walk around them, it's easier just to undo the two bolts and take them off. And then that's also a good time to lube your spindle bolts so they don't seize on there. Um, and taking these apart, that's one thing that really ticks me off is to find those super dry and uh, the bolts seized inside the spindle. So I always like to give them a good greasing. Uh, some things to help me out. I have a stand. I picked this up for 150 bucks. Uh, Kijiji. It really helps. Um, I've got an impact. The 20 volt. And said Torx bits for the DeWalt impact. It really speeds things up. I've got the container. Put all the bolts in. Um, what else do I have? I have a shop stool, which makes things a little more comfortable, easier to work. And I got over here a Budweiser. That helps things move along. So I'm just going to quickly go through it. I'll speed things up a bit. We're in the slow parts and um, show you more detail in some of the other parts. So, oh yeah, I got an exhaust spring hook. Uh, next step is to remove the exhaust. There's four springs on the Y pipe and a couple on the muffler. I'm gonna do the muffler first. There's also a clip on the muffler.
just to hold the wire in place, it doesn't want to do anything. I've got some uh, cable ties here going to cut. Now, so in this, in this video, basically I'm going to show you how to get all this plastic off the front nose, um, the air tube. Um, plastic has to come off first, then the air tube, then the air box. And that's before you can do any work with the throttle bodies um, and down underneath. Down underneath on some models you have the starter shaft. This one doesn't have electric start so I don't have to do that. But if you're going to be doing, a, a, if you're going to take that mo the motor out, all that has to come out in those that order. Um, also boots the boots eventually crack so they need to be replaced sometimes you want to check the reeds in there um, all that stuff has to come out and on this one this one doesn't have the adjustable seat this has the, the fixed seat so C has to come off first um, on the, with the adjustable seat, it's easy. You just lift the seat off and it's done. But this one's got two bolts underneath. Get my light. Two bolts. Is that bolt right up there? There's one on the other side as well. Put those off. The seat should lift off. And then we continue on. I'll do that. And then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so we're back. I got the seat off. Or just the two bolts and lift off. And uh, the guy left me some candies under the seat. That was very nice of him. So, next you want to get this guy out. Um, this bolt is already missing. There's one over here. Just a little Torx. Um, when you get that out, you want to put some anti seize in there. Because if that bolt is stuck it will just spin in that uh, in the tank in the plastic and it will be stripped and you won't uh, get it in or out after that and then start with your T T30 bolts up here and then you want to get this ECU out of the way we'll go ahead and do that This is where the impact really makes a quick work of this. So if you're just doing the uh, this side, this side is what you have to do to do the work. You don't really have to take the right side off. Yeah, 
left here. Um, one thing you know, there usually is a couple of corks in here, which are a huge pain in the butt to get out. If you have it off, leave them out, because that plastic stays in place. It just slips under there, you know, you're both here and you're good. If not, you got to really screw around to get those guys out. So I had this off already. I left those bolts out. And you got your 10 millimeter ratchet. Spin that ECU off. This led, by the way, of parting out all the parts are for sale. I've got anybody wants to blast this weekend. I've got lots of people who want to track. Safe place, that's where I'm going. Plate in under here. Got another nut right under the tube that's an 8 millimeter. Tape off, clean it really well, put uh, new reflective tape on it, usually uh, lasts pretty well. Our next thing would be to take this little piece off, and then you can lift the air box. And that's the torch as well. So this is what it looks like now. So right there at the bottom of the throttle bodies is where the starter shaft would be on an electric start model. And this is how you access it if it breaks to replace it. Um, also if you want to check your reeds, check your throttle bodies. And you need to do this as well to uh, take the motor out.
thanks for watching. That took uh, about 15 minutes. I've done it a few times.